Hi guys! I have not vlogged in forever and I apologize. I don't even remember the last time I made a book banging video. Um, it's been pretty crazy here with the holidays coming up and work's been insanely busy. So I actually have I feel like I've been blogging less. Um, but I've gotten a lot of books over the past week. Um, and the fact that I just said week and what I'm about to show you, you guys are going to be like, okay, Rebecca, calm down. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got and gush over these awesome books with you guys. So I just wanted to do a quick book haul post. Um, first books I got were from my lovely friend, Megan, and she blogs over at Sweet Tea Sassy Reads. And she got me the etiquette, the first two books in the etiquette and espionage series. Um, I really want to read these. They seem so fun and just like boarding school, right? I think it's like a boarding school spy type thing. Um, but I've heard really good things about Gail Carriger, Carriger. Um, so I'm very excited to read these and get into them. So thanks, Megan. Um, I got two arcs in the mail the other day from Random House. The first is The Girl at Midnight, which I am so excited about. This comes out in April and is about a ancient race of magical people that live beneath New York City. Very excited. It sounds awesome. So thank you, Random House. And the other one that they gave me was The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent. This comes out in June. And uh, it's about, I don't know, it's like paranormal. I don't know, it sounded really interesting to me. And I'm really liking this cover. So I'm excited about both of those. Then I got in my bookoutlet.com order from Black Friday. Um, I was relatively good. I originally had like 40 books in my cart. That was 4040. And my husband about had an aneurysm, so I cut it down to 19, and then he still looked like he was going to have a heart attack. So I cut it down to 9, uh, and that's what I ended up ordering. So I got The Shadow Society by Marie Rutkowski. Um, I loved The Winner's Curse, and I'm like dying to get my hands on The Winner's Crime. Um, so I thought I'd try out her other series, The Shadow Society series. Uh, I think that's a series. Maybe it's not. I don't know, but I'm very excited to read some of her other stuff. Then I got Renegade and Revelations. Um, it's about like an underwater city thing. I've been wanting to read these for forever. They just sound really awesome. Um, so I bought the first two in that series. I bought Anti-Goddess by Kendair Blake. I've actually already read this book, but I loved it so much that I wanted to own it, and I really, really, really need to get the second one. Um, but now I feel like I can buy the second one because I own the first one now, so <laughs> excuses to buy more books. <laughs> I bought Meant to Be by Lauren Morell. Um, I've heard great things about this, and I've read um, the only other book by her I've read is Being Sloan Jacobs, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd give another one for books a try. I think that Cassie at Books with Cass, if she's watching this, is going to be so excited. I bought Nowhere But Home by Lisa Palmer. This is adult contemporary, and I have just heard such amazing things about this. Cassie raves about this book, um, as well as some other bloggers. I've just like, just absolutely love this book. So I'm excited to read this one. I bought Love and Other Perishable Items. This has been on my wish list for a while. It's pretty short, so it seems like it'll just be a quick read. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I think that the main reason I bought this was for the cover because I really like it. I think it's adorable. Maybe it's because it's a mason jar. I don't know. I bought Wild Awake by Hilary T. Smith, uh, another one that I've heard amazing things about. Um, people have just raved about this book, so I'm pretty excited to get into this. My second adult fiction purchase, I know, right? Who am I? I bought two adult books. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I've been dying to read Sanderson's books for a while. I hear people rave about them. I just kind of started getting into adult fantasy this year um and so far so good 
And since I'd heard such good things about him in all of his books, but particularly the Mistborn series, I thought I'd snag the first book and get started. That's all my book outlet books. And now it's time to show you my gifts for my TBTB Santa, who is quite possibly the greatest secret Santa ever, ever. Um, Jessica at A Great Read was my secret Santa and she, she just like went way above and beyond anything I could have expected. So thank you, a huge thank you to Jessica. She got me The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. I'm so excited. I love fae and fairies and anything that has to do with them. So, and I've been wanting to read this series for a really long time. But not only did she get me The Iron King, she got it signed, can you see that? Signed and personalized to me. Not even just signed, personalized. So. Thank you so much, Jessica. That was so awesome of you. She got me Lux by JLA. Another signed copy. So I'm very excited. Everyone knows how much I love JLA and I have yet to read the Lux series. So I will definitely be binge reading that in the near future. I'm very excited. She got me The Glass Casket. This book sounds creepy and awesome. I mean, look, just look at the cover. The cover is so creepy looking. I am very excited to read this. I love the little tiny bit of red in the cover from her nails. Love it. And then she got me the kiss of deception. See my face just get like really, really, really excited. Um, I have been dying to read this ever since like the blogosphere was blowing up about this book, talk, talking about how amazing it is. And I just love fantasy. So I don't understand why I haven't started this series yet. Oh, it's because I didn't have the book and now I do so thank you Jessica I can't wait to start reading this and then last but not least is the Queen of the Tearling another fantasy series that I heard amazing things about and can I just like gush over this stunning cover like look at how beautiful this book is you guys it comes with a ribbon bookmark in it I don't I don't care if you don't like fantasy you should buy this just because it's beautiful look at the spine that's gonna look beautiful sitting on my shelf. Look at that baby. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stop being creepy and cutting my books now. So that, I think, is all I've gotten. That does not include e-galleys that I've gotten lately. Um, I don't even know how many I've, of those I've gotten. I have no self-control. So I've gotten a lot in the past week and I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these, which ones I should push to the very, very top of my list to start. And let me know if you've gotten any good books lately. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.